Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is how to find properties from your file. So, method one, let's just make a new page here. Method one is going to be that you are going to use your camera. Okay, and on your camera, you are going to be in playback and you are going to hit a button on your camera probably called display or info or possibly some of you it's in a menu I don't know you have to see that and when you hit that button it's going to show you on the back of your camera your uh, properties okay so that's method one okay method two is I have uh, David's here so this is just I've put in his memory card, his SD card, into the reader. Remember I said sometimes you get an autoplay box? In this case I have. I've got it. And I could just open this folder to view the files. But you don't always get an autoplay box. So that's why you need to know if you don't have one of these, then what do you do? So, you need to always go to My Computer. And when you open up a My Computer window, it will have an area for devices with removable storage. So, this is David's SD card right here. So, if I open that up, your photos are usually in this DCIM folder. So, I'm going to open this up. David has tons of photos here. The ones that he took most recently will be right at the bottom. So I'm just going to come, I don't know how this miscellaneous folder got in here because it wasn't in here earlier this morning, but we'll answer that question another time. So I'm going to come into this folder and uh, right now I can't see these very well. I want you to know that you can change your view here. You can use this little slider bar to make your pictures bigger or you can just click on extra large or large. So here is a picture of a water bottle. Okay, if I click a picture, this is a file, if I click this file, the properties are going to show in this pane. And this pane is called the details pane. And if this pane isn't showing, I can tell you that it's right here. Organize, layout, and there's the, I have the detail pane on. But if you if you went home and said, oh my gosh, there's no pane at the bottom, then you you would need to know in Windows 7 you would come to here to layout and you would click that. But I think it's probably on by default. Okay, so when you click the file once, you are going to get your properties here. And we said, what are examples? And I think we're pretty good on that, right? So examples, your exposure time, that's your shutter speed, your ISO, your f-stop, that's your aperture, and so on. The third method to get your properties. So method one on the camera, method two in this window just by looking in the details pane, and method three right click on the file photo and at the bottom you have properties. And if you click here and then go to the details tab, here are your properties. There's actually a fourth method, I hate to tell you, but I don't know if I should. I, I, I think this is probably enough. So that is how you get your properties. Are there any questions for this topic? Well, Bonnie added the comment. Let's see if we can see that. Here's a comment in here, and it's really not letting me access it in here. But when Bonnie came here and clicked on this field, uh, she 
she was able to type and I see a little button has come and I can save that and you can see that there's a comment on here now. Is that clear? Is there anything I've missed? Okay. So.